We have gathered here today in the presence of God to joyfully acknowledge the joining together of Sheldon and Britanna, to surround them with our prayers and to ask God's blessings upon them so that they may be strengthened for their life together. In the presence of the Buddha, we have assembled here today to happily acknowledge the union of Sheldon and Britanna, to surround them with our prayers and to request the Buddha blessing upon them so that they may be strengthened with uh, they are locked together. Who presents Pratana to be married to Sheldon? Her family and I do. As we pray together, Christians, uh, please pray silently. You will, um, with the Buddhists will be bowing, and you are, um, you are able to, if you are able to bow and you would like to, you will be bowing to Jesus. So now, please, um, if you Buddhist, um, follow us uh, to do the Buddhist prayer. And if you are Buddhist, uh, you follow different denomination, you are welcome to sit there silently. Now we do the prayer and the blessing for the couples. So uh, if you um, uh, can, you can follow us to do the prayer. Uh, we do in bilingual first, Vietnamese and uh, English, and secondly, um, uh, if you feel comfortable, you can stand or you can sit uh, while we are kneeling down and down to the Buddha. So yeah, please uh, feel. Mm -hmm. Three mm -hmm. to follow us or to keep silent.
Love never gives up. Its faith, hope, and patience never fail. Love is eternal. There are inspired messages, but they are temporary. There are gifts of speaking in strange tongues, but they will cease. There is knowledge, but it will pass. For our gift of knowledge and, and of inspired messages are only partial. But when what is perfect comes, then what is partial will disappear. When I was a child, my speech, feeling, and thinking were all those of a child. Now I am an adult. I have no more use for childish ways. What we see now is like the dim image in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. What I know now is only partial. Then it will be completed, as complete as God's knowledge of me. Meanwhile, these three remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. We are asked to consider this. Um, you live your lives to realize oneness as husband and wife, happiness and unhappiness, jokeness and sadness are common and grow. Just like the high tide and the low tide. You live your lives to realize the permanence, lives in every tension and to resist the tension and to resist the life. You live your lives to realize your responsibilities in everything you say, you do, you think. By trying to realize these things, you commit yourself in your life and your work for benefit of other people, to your families, to your friends, and to the people of your communities. Maintain the healthy emotional bank account and the tongue and teeth in close proximity with your spouse. That means um, you have to take care of each daughter to share that type of emotional bank. And um, in uh, Buddhist um, principle, uh, the Buddha advised uh, the couples that you have to share the same resources. You have to have the polite speech, not only for today, but the rest of your life. You have to be helpful with your other, especially in the crisis situation. And you have to be consistent with your other. Um, that means you need to um, keep up with what you promise, especially from now. And also, according to the Buddhist teaching in marriage, the husband can expect the following qualities from his wife. Um, he is expected to have love and tenderness, family obligation, faithfulness, child care, truth, provisionals of meals to calm down when he is upset, uh, sweetness in everything. That's what he expects from you. And now, in return, what she expects from you, the wise expectation from personal is uh, tenderness, courtesy, social beauties, security, fairness, loyalty, honesty, good companionship, and moral support. So these are the good teaching for the newly couple. And also, uh, in some children, the Buddha explain about um, the main kind of spouse. Uh, the spouse like an enemy, a roper, a boss, a mother, a father, brother and sister, a friend and sister. And you know that. Um, the spouse like enemy is mean if you live together, if you find each other every day, what's mean? You are enemy, right? That means this, there's no way for you to maintain that kind of healthy relationship. And if you treat each other like a slave, a slave does mean you have to be on the top of each other. That can be break down the marriage easily. Uh, and also, if you have the, the attitude of a boss to work each other, there's no way for you to maintain this kind of marriage uh, for the rest of your life. But the Buddha mentioned that if you maintain the relationship as mother and father, as brother and sister, as a friend in equal share, and that's the way you can maintain your long-term relationship 